Have you ever examined your expectations in trading? Have you ever really thought about what you believe the reality is likely to be versus what's probably what's going to actually happen? I mean, think about it. The separation between your beliefs about you being profitable and being able to buy whatever you want and to be able to have the freedom to live the life that you say you want to live versus the reality that 90% of people do not make any money trading. And what's even more frightening is that the 10% of people who don't lose money trading, very few of them can actually live off of trading profitably. We're talking single digit percentage numbers. Now this may be very disheartening to you. And I'm not here to say that trading profitably is impossible. I've done this myself for the past six years and I've been trading for a total of eight years. And if you don't believe that I can do this profitably, I've shared most of my trades, my analysis, my insights, and everything for free in my free Telegram channel. It's at the first link in the description, and I'll probably put it in the pinned comment as well. But it doesn't undermine that what I want to talk about here in this video is the fact that your expectations about what you believe trading to be and what profitable trading actually looks like are probably very skewed from the reality. Now imagine all of the videos that you've watched about trading and think about the things that you've actually learned, the things you can actually practically go and apply and use as a sort of razor for peeling back the layers of complexity in the markets and being able to actually trade in a very simple, brief way every single day. What you learn in YouTube videos just like these are actually quite irrelevant when given the context of trading. Consider this, you go to a chart and you will see that chart differently than every other human being alive. And you'll see it differently in the sense of your brain personally is going to pick up patterns, the same sort of repetitious things over and over. Your cognitive biases are going to come into play. You're gonna start thinking of things about what could happen and what might not happen. You have this cacophony of voices inside your brain all talking to you in different areas telling you this and that. This constant mental conversation of you saying price is going to do this because of that, but then there's a news event here, and so I should consider that, and that should bring some volatility, but maybe I shouldn't worry about that, but the spreads might get wide, so I need to widen my stop loss, and i got to do all this. And you do all this endless work, and it still gets you nowhere. You try to partition your trading system and break it up into brief little simple rules that you can follow. Something that's simple, something that's duplicatable, something that's predictable, and yet you still fallen short. A lot of your expectations around what trading should look like if you were to be profitable are probably wrong. And I don't say that to be mean to you. And I don't say that to lie to you. I've been doing this eight years and I've taught thousands of people how to trade. I'm uniquely qualified to say what I believe works and what I believe doesn't work. You're in a position where your concept of reality about how profitable trading should be and how much time it should take and how much capital you have to start with and how much money you can make potentially are all probably skewed and they're skewed in such a way that really prevents you from getting into profitability. It's like an invisible barrier, this invisible wall that is between you and the outcome you desire, which is to be able to make money trading sustainably, indefinitely until the day that you die. But it's not going to happen unless you set your expectations in an appropriate location. Now, this video is going to be me attempting to get you to move the goalpost. I am not a god, and I don't have all the answers. I can only share with you what's worked for me. And what's worked for me is typically doing much, much, much less than everything that you've seen on all of the YouTube videos you've watched, on all of the blogs you've read, on all of the books you've flipped page by page through, all the audio books you've listened to, all the interviews with traders on podcasts, every single person telling you that they have the keys to the kingdom. But what it really comes down to 
is you just simply setting your expectations in such a way that allows you to get the experience necessary to actually trade profitably. So let's start. You probably have the expectation that whenever you get profitable, it's going to be so easy once you finally figure it out and after you've gone through all the legwork, trading is just going to be so easy. Now, it's not that this isn't true, but the reality is that just like any skill set performed at a high level, such as being a professional athlete or being a skilled surgeon doing neurosurgery or being a person who has to work with people who have some type of mental illness and helping them find more satisfaction and enjoyment out of their lives. Any skill set performed at a high level requires an extreme amount of iteration and patience and an understanding of all the premises and concepts that make up that body of knowledge that they're executing and implementing on a daily basis. Trading is no different and it's not a science. It is not as simple as A plus B equals C. It is not as simple as 2 plus 2 equals 4. It is 2 plus 2 sometimes equals 4, but sometimes it might not equal 4. And when it doesn't equal 4, you need to make sure you've controlled risk in a way where you're not going to lose all of your money if that happens. So when it comes to your expectations, you should expect trading to be hard right now. You should expect it to be hard in the future. And you should expect it to always be hard. And what this does is it moves the goalpost from your fantasy and your imagined reality of what trading should be. It moves it to something that's more realistic, which is the fact that trading, in fact, will be very challenging for you. And it's always going to be challenging for you. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Anything worth having in life if done at a high level, such as a skill set like trading, it's probably going to be pretty difficult to achieve. It's no surprise that most people fail at trading, and it's no surprise that most people don't become surgeons, and it's no surprise that most people don't become professional athletes because it's fucking hard. And you're not an idiot. You realize this. But the subconscious processes of your brain dictate expectations that do not land anywhere close to reality on the landscape of realistic, consistently profitable trading. We have words for things like this. It's called self-delusion. It's called self-deception. It's called cognitive dissonance. It's called wishful thinking. And I want you to eradicate these thoughts from your brain starting today and starting right now. Because if you do this, it is my opinion that you're already ahead of the 90% of people who consistently lose money trading. And the reason that you'll get profitable is the other side of the coin from the same reason that most other people will fail. People think that they can come into trading and treat it like it's this passive thing they can do on the beach, on their phone, and make millions of dollars and travel the world and have luxury cars and beautiful houses and private jets and it's just not that way. Haven't you noticed? Most people trying to trade Forex are losing money. And most people giving advice to you on how to trade Forex are themselves losing money. When you go and read the comment section of this video, you will see so many people giving their opinions and giving their advice and giving their suggestions hiding behind this imagined reality that, you know, they're still learning, but they do have some good information to share. And so they're sharing it, trying to help you. Whereas in my opinion, most people probably shouldn't be sharing most of their opinions unless they were first profitable trading and could prove it by trading live over and over and over for years, just like I've done for the past six years. Because if someone can do that, and if only those people were allowed to give their suggestions in the public domain, then you would have more people having better expectations about what profitability looks like. And you wouldn't have this imagined reality of people spouting all of this nonsense all over the internet about this and technical analysis patterns 
and Wagyu beef bullish ICT smart money liquidation concepts. There is so much garbage out here in the trading niche that you have to be subjected to on every single day and every occasion that you click on a YouTube video just like this. I understand you. It's fucking confusing and it doesn't make it any easier that so many people give so many stupid opinions on the internet. All that really matters is you accepting that trading is going to be unbelievably difficult, excruciatingly painful. And the only way you get past this is by pushing through it and accepting that it's going to be that way. Because the moment that you accept it's going to be that way, it does get instantly easier. It's like you can take a deep breath and say, you know what? This is going to be hard. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be challenging. And that's okay. Anything worth having in life is probably going to be difficult to acquire. And acquiring the skill set of trading is obviously the exact same way. You know this to be true. I'm just asking you to admit it and accept it so you can move past this barrier and get into what the actual reality is of trading, which is simply just getting experience and doing more of what works and less of what doesn't over time. If you can do this, you're in a lot better of a position than most people who think that trading has to be done a certain way and they think it's this and they think it's that, whereas their own opinions and thoughts and beliefs are unsubstantiated and un unjustified because they don't have the perspective of what it's like to actually be profitable. They don't have the type of brain that can look at reality and say, I know this to be the case because I have evidence for it. Instead, people make shit up based on what they want to believe. This is why it's so fucking easy to manipulate people. It is very sad that we live in a world where critical thinking and common sense and logic and rationality are MIA in the battlefield of trying to learn something like trading. It is sad, but it is the case. And I hope that you do not let these thoughts and emotions and feelings and most importantly, bad expectations dictate your failure in trading. The few of you that are actually going to do this have a much higher chance of actually making money trading and it all begins right here in your brain. Lower your expectations to almost nothing and replace them with the fact that trading is going to be challenging and difficult for the rest of your life. This doesn't sound sexy and it doesn't sound attractive and it doesn't even fucking sound fun and I understand. But if you can accept that that's probably the reality, then you are going to probably be ahead of most other people instantly, and it will allow you to make more progress over time. The reality of trading is that it's difficult. Make sure that your expectations align with that reality.